For me, it doesn't make sense. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on YouTube? It's your man Cliff and Terry, and today we're gonna talk about the new and improved Serato DJ Pro 2.1, but specifically the streaming update for SoundCloud and obviously for Tidal that's been there for a while now. SoundCloud Go is a new premium product that SoundCloud has released for $9.99 a month and it gives you access to all of their files and more importantly, it allows you to mix right into Serato DJ Pro. Now, I have some reservations about streaming with DJ systems anyway. I don't know that they're reliable. I don't know that they are ready for prime time. I know it's the future, but I'm just not sure if it's ready now. So I'm gonna take you through some scenarios here to kind of see if, well, if it works the way we want it to, because it's one thing to have streaming and to be operating in a perfect scenario, perfect conditions, the best Wi-Fi and everything. It's another when you're actually on an actual event and well, we all know how that goes. So let's go through it right now. So I've already set up Serato DJ Pro 2.1. I've gone on, I've subscribed to SoundCloud Go Plus. I'm not gonna go through all the ways to use it. However, it's pretty straightforward when you set it up. You just go online, you go into SoundCloud, you uh, you log in, it's got the option right there, you set it up, you can pay via credit card, via PayPal, it's all right there. Then when you go into Serato, you have this little option into Serato which says, show streaming services. And I have currently selected SoundCloud is my streaming service. You can see right here, it's got my SoundCloud ID. It says I'm set to premium, everything's good. So when you go into your search function, this little guy right here, this little blue SoundCloud icon, this tells you that when you're searching, you can search for SoundCloud items too. Okay, so and in SoundCloud, it created its own little folder, nested folder, with all the music that I supposedly like. So I can see right here, these are songs that I have added. If you go into my playlist, you got Craze, DJ Craze, DJ Chef, DJ J Rose, Vaughn Kiss, a little bit of everything. So obviously there's nothing here that I'm gonna be playing on, a, on an event. So let's go to something a little harder, Uproar. Let's find little Wayne, let's load him in. Okay, so it's in. All right, it's playing pretty good, right off the fly. Y'all know his name? Hey, yo, Mac, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, loaded pretty fast. Let me skip ahead. I let one go. Okay. All right, so we are good so far. Everything looks good. It's all streaming pretty, pretty fast. It's created. My BPM, it's pulled it in. This one right here, this uproar, this is already that I, obviously that I already have here. I'm just gonna say one thing right off the bat with these streaming services. The one thing that I've noticed already is that there are no clean versions. There are no clean versions of these songs unless somebody has specifically went in and made a clean version of this track. But in general, I haven't seen any clean versions. So if you are playing for anything that's not a nightclub, you may not be able to use this. Uh, another thing that I'm not seeing is uh, intros. There are no custom made songs for intros and these are for DJs. So if we're trying to mix on the fly and we're downloading a song real quick, having an intro works really, really well. If you don't, then you gotta go through all the stuff. You gotta try to find out where that beat is. You gotta try to find out where that, where that verse starts up. It's a lot more work for the DJ. I got a couple of remixes. And this one has an intro, but it's his remix. So listen, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's been a minute. The fuck is popping. I'm back up in Okay. Here. So here's another thing that you're gonna have to deal with when you're when you're looking at things like this. Um, because it's SoundCloud, sometimes you'll search for a song and you think you're playing the original version, and somebody's come in and put their own verse on it, remixed their own beat on it, just kind of made it their way to get known. But that's not the song you want to play. You want to play what everybody knows. Of course, you'd have no way of knowing that the Upper Remix really wasn't a remix. It's more of a mixtape than it is a remix. 
but you'd be playing this right now, potentially, and had no idea. Let's do low, flow, right. Up. Don't know why there are two different versions, but they're just lo one's longer than the other. Maybe one has an intro, so let's check it out. From the start. That's not even the start of the track. And that one's that from Flow Rider, so let's check the other one. Okay, so this one is the original with the intro on it. But it doesn't say anything in the track itself that one is different. However, they're both from the artist Flow Rider, so I have no idea. So far, so good. I mean, it doesn't have intros. Uh, I don't necessarily know if there's a clean or a dirty version, so that's one thing you're gonna have to deal with. And also, um, but it's loading fast. I'm setting up cue points, everything's good. Now, let's see what happens when I have a weak internet. So we're gonna load up my phone. Right now, my phone has uh, two bars of actual cell service at my office, it's just crappy. So we're gonna go ahead and tie in to the one to two bar LTE Verizon data. So let's go ahead and switch on here. We all do this. This isn't something I'm doing that's new. This isn't a normal thing. So I'm tethering right off the bat as it's looking for the internet. It's gone off. Okay, so. Okay, so my personal hotspot is now on. Single ladies. It said reading tags, but nothing's happening. So let's try it one more time. Maybe Single Ladies isn't a song that's on here. It's weird that they don't even have anything. So let's just type in Beyonce and see what happens. So, best thing I never had. So let's load it up. Start and load. Okay, we are currently loading. Okay, currently still waiting. Okay, I'm now at, okay, it's finally loaded at about 17 seconds. So let's go. Okay. Let's say we need to skip ahead. We're gonna go to the, to the end. And we got nothing. So, it's still loading. We are at 40 seconds. And we are now at 55 seconds. We're at 108. And now at 112, we are finally loaded up. Let me skip ahead a little more and it's still not there. So it's almost downloading in real time on my current network scenario here. I'll give you a perfect example. Don't stop believing. So let's say you just wanna play the hook, the big hook that everybody knows. So we're gonna load this up right now, loading. So at approximately 16 seconds, it loaded up. Now, let's say I wanna to go to the actual hook the most important part and that's usually it that's like at the end of the song so we're going to skip down and we're going to see how long that takes so i'm going to stop the song because i don't want it to keep trying to stream and go at the same time and i'm just going to hopefully maybe it catches up i'm up to a minute now obviously you wouldn't be waiting for a minute or more for the song to load. Oh, look, the song just loaded. 125. One minute and 25 seconds is how long it took to skip ahead to the part you want to play. Okay. Okay, so what does this mean? Um, well, this means that if you're DJing, and you only want to play a certain part. Somebody says to you, hey, I need this song real quick, but start it at 40 seconds in. Well, that 40 seconds might take you one to two minutes. It'll at least take you 40 seconds because you're going to need that real time playing to get to it. But if it's at the end of the track, you may not be able to do it in its current iteration. Now, again, I'm, I'm only talking on a normal speed. I'm talking on like, you know, I'm on my cell phone. I got two bars of LTE. It's not great. It's not, but it's not horrible, but it's not great. And I'm struggling with this. 
I don't think that you could truly mix. You could do it on the fly. Somebody asked for this song, but let's just say for instance, you're streaming and clearly it wasn't fast enough to stream the whole thing. So you lose your internet connection. Well, that song's gonna stop because it doesn't have enough time to download the entire stream up until the song ends. We're gonna go to Sweet Caroline. It's another track. We're gonna move over back to the super fast speed here. All right, super fast. That was like four seconds. Let's skip ahead. I'm all the way at the end. Skipping ahead all over the place. So, so on a really good connection, you got no problems, but that's not real world. What I'm sitting in right now is not real world. If you're sitting at a hotel, if you're using like the local city internet to try to play it, if you're using some venues, you know, guest internet, well, there's no guarantee that you're gonna have speeds fast enough to be able to do what I just did. And then last but not least, let's just turn it off for a second. Let's go to a song and let's say you lose your connection. Let's see how fast it does. And this is on the super fast connections. Tribe Called Quest scenario, Leaders of New School, Hip Hop Classics, Scenario LP Mix from a Tribe Called Quest. Okay. So let's go ahead and load this in. And then we're going to turn off the internet. Go, load. Still hasn't loaded. So we're going to go out of this real quick. We're going to try to load it again. That particular version does not want to load. Maybe there's something wrong with it. But there's no way of knowing that you can or can't play it. There's no way of knowing that there's a problem. So let's go back to the other one. And we're loading and we're playing. And we lose our connection. All right, so connection's off. Now, because it's streamed so fast and it downloaded so fast, there shouldn't be an issue. If I skip ahead, we're good. I don't know why it's so fast. It's at 112 beats per minute, and that's not how fast this song is. This song is probably 98 beats per minute. Whatever. Okay. So we'll go back to the original. It's actually 102. Now let's try to load the other one up. We just played it, and it will not load. Obviously, because there's no data connection. So even though you just streamed it, it's not there anymore. So. Let's do another scenario. Let's turn on the internet again. Let's load it. Let's put it in your prepare folder and then turn off the internet and see if it plays. Let's make this a prepare. So now this is sitting in my prepare folder. Go to my versions. Now I'm gonna go back to the one I put in my prepare folder and let's load this up. Here we go, yo. Here we go. And it won't load. So if you have tried to pre-plan your set, let's say you're doing your opening or you're DJing and you, you know, somebody's asked for a couple songs, so you pull them down, you put them in your folder, they're sitting there, they're in your prepare folder ready to be played. If you lose your internet, they disappear. They won't even, they won't let you load them up, they're just gone. Is that a problem? Well, in my opinion, yes, because internet can be spotty. So let's say you're on a really weak internet and then you lose your signal for a second or the bandwidth drops to nothing and then you lose the ability to play the song that you had. Now it's gone. Now it's back. So there's some issues that I see with having streaming only capabilities. I don't think you can do a streaming only. I don't think it's possible. You can do a streaming only if you know for a fact that the venue you're in, the location you're in, has a fantastic and stable internet connection. But if you don't, it's a risk I'm not willing to take. I think that it's good for a supplement. It's good knowing that there's a song you need to play really quick. And here you go, guys. I'm not gonna think about it, I'm just gonna drop it. That works just fine. But if you lose your data, if you're on a slow data, don't bother skipping ahead because it's not gonna work. It's just gonna freeze you up and then you're gonna be screwed. And I'm not finding a lot of clean versions. So you're gonna be playing originals, which means you're gonna be playing possibly explicit versions, which in some cases, like myself, 
uh, unless you're doing a lot of nightclubs, you're not going to be able to do. Even if you're playing an adult-only party, you know, Christmas party, you're still not going to play super, super dirty stuff. That's just not going to happen. Is it ready for prime time? No. Is it the future? Yes. But in my mind, if I pull a song and I download that song ready for streaming, not download it to your, to your actual hard drive, and I put it in my prepare folder, that should stay even if I lose my data connection. I wouldn't trust it. Not because of SoundCloud, not because of Tidal. I wouldn't trust it because the internet is just not where it needs to be right now. And even if you're on your own hotspot, if your phone dies, well, you're screwed. If there's no internet, you get to a place, and there's a lot of places where there's no internet and you're in a dead zone. So what are you gonna do then? So you have to, you have to, you have to think about these things before you go to your venue because you could be in a situation where you have no music, no internet, and you're gonna be refunding people money because you can't do your job. Use it as a supplement, use it as a extra, it's good to have just in case. You're almost better off just sticking with your DJ record pulse and get online, download the track, and then play it. You're good. If it's some one-off song, throw it on your phone, stream it from your phone, and save a little money. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna have people in the comments letting me know that this is the end all but I'm just, all I can tell you is real world experience with products. And if they're gonna work for you, and if they make sense for what you're trying to do. If for me, it doesn't make sense. Uh, I will likely, I'm gonna cancel the sound, the SoundCloud Go, and I will just keep using my record pools because they just do a better job. Now, if Apple Music comes out and um, I'm already paying for it anyway, you know, I'll, I will at least have it in the in the stable, but it's not something that I'm gonna rely on. It's just, it's it's a recipe for disaster. You set yourself up for failure, and that's not what we're doing here. We're trying to improve and empower people. So guys, uh, let me know in the comments below what you're using. If, if it's worked for you, if you've had any issues, if it's just been perfect, throw it in the comments below. I'd love to talk about it. And also, if you guys are new here, I throw up all of these types of things DJ gear related stuff, um, tech reviews, and a damn life videos. If you found what I said here useful, give me that thumbs up. If you found what I said really useful and you wanna see more of what I have to offer, hit that subscribe button. I try to post once or twice a week. And uh, guys, always a pleasure. And if I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace.